Testing. Whoa, okay, there we go. And now you have muted. Okay, can you guys hear me now? Hey, so the, uh, just so you guys know, um, the, uh, yeah, there I am, what's up? Hey, sorry about that. So we have completely rewired the studio. And so uh, as part of that rewiring is part of all of the electric stuff that we have been working on, that is what it was. Anyway, so we were two for four. That's how it was. So we didn't have, the music wasn't starting and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, guys, welcome to a very, very special version of Robitech. It's a little bit early, but that's because we are building a PC for a legend, guys. We are building a PC for Grandma Shirley, who is also known as Grandma Skyrim. Um, and so we're gonna be building a PC for her today. So huge shout out to Asus, uh, huge shout out to Kingston, huge shout out to CableMod uh, for helping make this stream uh, awesome. And then there is also a very, very low. It's good, no, volume's low, but we can hear. Oh, geez, okay. Is it better now? There you go. My favorite, hey, what's up guys? Is that better? I turned it up a little bit. Uh, okay, so I do wanna say, there's also somebody very special who is also in the channel with us today, and that is Andy the Lab. Uh, Andy is actually gonna be joining me on a PAX panel, but she is also one of the big people behind this to actually put this whole thing together and give me the honor of getting to build this PC for such a special person. So it should be, uh, and so she is not. So grandma is gonna be joining us virtually from uh, her location. She's gonna be joining us on Discord. Don't worry, you're gonna get to see her. She is here, um, but she is not here uh, on site because uh, again, traveling and all that sort of stuff is always a little bit difficult. And we wanna be absolutely safe, but she is going to be awesome and she is going to be here. But Andy the Lab is also joining us, so she'll be here today. So if you just uh, wanna talk Asus, talk shop, or about cars or about golden Labradors, uh, those are all things that um, she, uh, she is a big part of. Now, I tried to give away a ride with Andy with her labs in a Lamborghini, um, but she uh, ixnade that. So unfortunately that won't be given away today, but if you have any is issues with that, you can take that right up with her um, because that's not what uh, she said no. Um, but yeah, I know it should be a lot of fun. This is going to be a really, really great build and I'm very excited to get a chance to do something awesome for such an incredible person. But how are you? I am sorry, you guys, I have missed you. I have been on vacation for the last week. Um, and then yesterday we were supposed to stream. That was supposed to be my introduction to you guys. And then my wife actually had dental surgery. So I don't know if you know, but down here at the bottom uh, below, she had to get a gum graft on. And then what happened was, is they take, they take tissue from the top of her mouth and put it down here. But what had happened is that they had hit like an arterial so the bleeding wouldn't stop. So her mouth just filled with blood and that was like an hour before the stream. So I was like driving in my Tesla as fast as I could. She literally has, I would show you pictures but it probably grossed you out. But we got into the dentist and then of course, uh, just wanting to be there to make sure that she was okay. So I apologize so much for, uh, for canceling uh, the stream yesterday. Um, but don't worry, we will get that bill done. But I appreciate the patience and so I'm sorry that we weren't able to get that done. But. We are here today and we're not gonna miss this. We're not gonna be hanging out with her. So yeah. Yeah, she is, she's totally fine. She is absolutely, she'll probably end up joining us because you guys know how much uh, Miss Robitech loves being on the show. Um, so she'll probably join us at some sort of party. She can't talk, so all she can do is chat, chat. And she loves to chat with you guys anyway. But outside of that, I'm here. We're here, we're gonna build. We're gonna have a lot of fun and this should be super, super awesome. And I'm so grateful that you guys are, yeah, she is fine, we're fine, everything's fine. How are you? Uh, that's a Star Wars line right there. Also, I'm wearing Hello Kitty today. So that, that you can't go wrong with that. I got my Hello Kitty Nike shirt on today. So all in all, it's going to be a great day, I think. Oh, Bobby Cat's here. What's going on? It's like, it's like old times. It's just good to have you in here uh, and all that sort of stuff. But it's so good to see everybody. Do you guys want, you guys want me to get, you guys want me to get, uh, you guys want me to get her here on the channel? You guys want to talk to grandma? You guys want to see, talk to Shirley? Let's see what, get her in here and start talking to her and getting a little bit of information on her. Let me get that set up here in just a second. Everybody's excited about it. That's always good. Hold on one second. I'm going to bring up something real quick. Just make sure I got it. Okay. And then you guys will obviously get to ask a couple questions as well. We got, you know, we're going to do a little interview, have a little fun with her, which is always a good thing. But who who doesn't like having that stuff? Okay, so let's let's make this happen. Here we go. I'm going to text her and get her to unmute here in a second. I'm going to join 
There we go. I got to get my ears on, which sounds weird because I just came from I just came from a, from the fine world of. Ugh. There we go. Get this is like welcome to technology where you have like fifteen thousand devices. Okay. Lithium, yeah. put, okay. Let's see what's going on here. Hey, are you there? Yes, yes I, I am. am. Okay, I can hear you. That's always a good thing. Let's switch you over here so people can see you. It's good to see you again. It's good to see you too. I mean, we've got. It's like we're. It's like we've gotten to talk to each other and uh, do all this magical stuff. Let's get it. So you. Oh, they. Oh, new device. Hold on. Let me. Uh, my. Don't switch. Okay, there we go. There she is, right there, folks. Hey! Hi, everybody. Everybody say hi. There she is. Oh, echoing. Oh, you guys are hearing echo. Okay, hold on one sec. Let me see why it's echoing. It's always the fun stuff. Uh, okay, how is that? Is that echoing fine now? Okay, everybody says hi. I think I think we got the echo fixed. Okay, so. I how, if you want to start, uh, Shirley, why don't you tell us a little bit about who you are and just kind of what you do? Well, let me see. I'm an 86 year old grandmother and a gamer, and I'm trying to be a writer. And I have four sons, lots of grandkids, and a few great grandkids. That's who I am. Wow. Okay. Okay. So 86. I mean, you're starting, you're starting gaming young. That's, that's the way you want to do it, right? <laughs> right. I started all this young. <laughs> Actually, I started, I started in about in the nineties, about the middle of the nineties. Oh, okay. Okay. Now is, was Skyrim your first game? It's the first game that I started recording. Okay. But okay. I played games before that. Okay. What are some of the other games that you played? Oh my, I used to play, oh, what's that tabletop game? I can't think of the names right now. Oh, Sorry. it's okay. Totally, oh, totally okay. Now, you got your gold, so you have something I don't have, I, I covet, and that is the gold play button. What does it feel like having a million subscribers on YouTube? Well, it feels kind of weird. But uh, thank goodness I don't have that many people to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> Only Would you a million. Like to see that play button. Yeah, sure, that'd be awesome. Okay, so guys, we get to see her play button. Oh wow, you actually have it like right there. Oh, there it is. I thought you might like to see it. That's and it's really so huge. Cool. That is so huge. My silver is... play button was about. Probably about one half or one third that size. Oh, okay. Okay, hold on one sec. My thing is being funky. One, let me get you back in here on the screen. There we are. Okay. So, um, but what does it does it did it feel different when you actually got the button and hit a million people? It didn't feel any different. It's um, I was expecting it, and everybody online was expecting it and talking about it, but. Uh, it was the same viewing as every other day, <laughs> but it, it was fun to know that you have a million people subscribe to your channel. I think it's awesome. I, I, you know, it's funny. I've watched a bunch of your, I've watched a bunch of your videos, and I love the way you introduce, like you say, like so. Basically, you think as your audience is just basically everybody's your grandkid, right? Isn't that we all get to be your virtual grandkids? Isn't that how it works? That's right, because they first started calling me grandma. So that's why I started calling them grandkids. <laughs> and does that mean that if we show up to your place, we get free milk and cookies? I mean, that's I mean, it's like guaranteed. Sure. Okay, good. <laughs> because that's, I mean, that's all I really cared about. Like, it's funny when, uh, when uh, Deb talked to me and Asus talked to me about potentially having me come and do this for you. I was like, as long as I get milk and cookies, then I'm in. Like, no problem whatsoever. Um, well, is and anybody giving you milk and cookies? Of course, there. my my mom my mom does give me and my wife makes amazing milk and cookies. But that doesn't mean I don't want grandma's milk and cookies. You know what I mean? Like that's oh. that's <laughs> those are always special. You know? Um, hey, so how did you get the idea? I mean, to start a YouTube channel. I mean, like what was the what was like kind of the the inspiration behind doing something like that? The few subscribers that I have, like. 
two or three hundred I had at the time kept asking me to. They was asking me to all the time. So I finally, one evening, thought, shoot, I'll try this, give it a crack at it. I made a video and then I went to bed. And then the next morning when I got up, opened my gaming channel, it was swamped. My email was swamped. I didn't know what was happening and it made me cry. Oh. I didn't know what to do because I didn't know what it was doing. <laughs> oh, I see. So it was like, you were like, you, you kind of, you had this idea, but then it just like the success kind of took off and you were like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. I wasn't like prepared for that. You were hoping to kind right. of like dip your toe in and then a little bit at a time it yeah. kind of grew. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes <laughs> sense. Um, so uh, what do you love the most about gaming and YouTube? Like what was like, now that you've kind of gotten your feet, I mean, more than wedded a million subscribers, but what do you like the most about having this kind of community and stuff like that? What I like most about gaming is because I can actually feel like my character is me. That's why I make role-playing games out of Skyrim all the time. Okay. I don't just play the game the way it's made. <laughs> I play it the way I want to play it and make stories out of it. Uh, oh. Because I, I get to be that character that's in there. And once I start playing... I truly get that immersed into the game. And is, it, is there something just about the world of Skyrim that just kind of brought you in? Was it like the graphics? Yes. Was it just the yes. world? Like, okay, so, and it's that just made it a little bit easier. Game. It is, it, I, I like, one of my favorite things about your Twitter is it's almost like you get to do this digital photography thing. You love to just go around and try and take great pictures of the universe. Right, right. That's why so, I post pictures on my Twitter channel. Yes, yeah. I love taking pictures there. <laughs> okay, so um, what type of PC do you actually have now? Like, what's what's the PC you're using now to play? What's my PC name? And her, and just so you guys know, her 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 son is there, Ed, who is a part of this, and so he he uh, he's he's he, he helps run some of the tech support and stuff like that for her as well. But um, anyway, Doghouse is the one that. Uh, built my PC for me. Okay, okay, and how long ago did you have the PC built? Oh, I think that was in the spring of 2015. Oh, okay, so it's been a while. Uh-huh, I'm ready for your new one. <laughs> Well, that's that's fair. That's fair. So I'll, I'm going to I'm going to go through just for the folks who are in my audience, just to run you guys through what kind of PC we're going to build you today. Um, so a lot of care from the team at Asus in terms of the parts that are going in there for a game like Skyrim. This is going to be absolutely awesome. So uh, you're getting a uh, uh, 11th gen 11700K CPU, which is going to be more than enough power for there. Uh, you've got an Asus Z590 motherboard, which will be great. Uh, you've got a RTX 3060 Ti, which is of the tough gaming uh, of um, of the tough gaming uh, family, as as is the motherboard. Uh, Kingston sent you two one terabyte PCIe Gen 4 NVMe drives, which means very, very fast hard drives. Uh, we've also got RGB, which means it lights up and looks really pretty because that's the thing that actually matters more than anything else, right? It's got to look good. Uh, and then lastly, uh, uh, Andy, the lab who you worked with, she actually chose some custom cables from Cable Mod to make sure the whole thing kind of comes together. So there's like a synergy with yellow and blue and gray, um, which, and then of course you've got this beautiful GT301 case, which I don't know if you can see on the stream. Are you watching the stream night right I now? Can't, I can't see anything on the screen. Okay, me. okay, let me, let me do this. Okay, so here we go. There We're gonna go. there. There, there's me. I'm gonna move you so they don't want to see me. They're they're done with seeing me. There, they can see you again. Okay, so this is the case, right here. And as you can see, it's actually got handles on it, and those handles you can use to beat up people if you needed to. So it's like a nice little anti-support. You know, it's like a it's like an anti-theft device. So I don't I don't know why they put handles, but it's actually pretty. Cool. This is the actual part right here. So this is gonna be the case, and then again, it's gonna be all lit up and pretty when we're all done going to be cool. It is. It's going to be very cool. So that is, uh, that's going to be your build. Now, um, what are the plans? Like now that you've got this new PC coming, what are some of the plans that you have for the rest of the year? Well, I have started a new game oh. in Skyrim, in Skyrim. 
Okay. A new story, I should say, in Skyrim. But what and I'm looking for is some horror games. Really real horror games, not just full of... Oh! Stupid, <laughs> yeah, jump scares. Characters. Okay, uh, I have I have some good ones for you that I can recommend, and I'd love the uh, so there's a couple there's a couple that are my favorite, and they're they're my favorite horror games. So I'll give you a couple what options. Is. One is a game called Bioshock, which actually is um, it's Bell it's uh, the story of an underwater city that's gone into it's like become dilapidated. Very very good story and very pretty graphics. It's a really really cool universe. So that's my first one. Uh, the second one that I would say is a game called Alien Isolation, which is based on um, the, the series Alien. And that is another one that has a really great universe um, and at the same time. Uh, and uh, so, yeah. So those would be my two if you want to check out ones that just aren't ter they're They're great, pretty worlds, but also at the same time, uh, not dumb, jump, just jump scares. Okay, I'll check them out. <laughs> So a couple options for you. Um, are there any other new games that you have wanted to kind of check out? I know you said you were looking for some horror games. Are there uh, some other titles um, that are in the RPG genre or something like that that you've wanted to check out as well? Not really. Okay. Not yet. I've got, I've got several that I've stuck away in the hidden part of my channel. And uh, <laughs> every once in a while I'll get in there and look at them all and see if there's something in there I want to play. But... I don't know. I'm so in love with Skyrim that I just can't get out of its gorgeous graphics. <laughs> well, hopefully, I mean, we have Gamescom coming up and all these others. Maybe we'll have like another Skyrim. I know it's, you know, Bethesda's got plans and hopefully I'm sure we'd love to see a Skyrim or another Elder Scrolls games. That would be very cool, right? They've got one coming out in the future, but instead they're going to put up a new base game first. <laughs> So you're, Which has you're not, nothing to do with Skyrim. <laughs> so you're a little disappointed. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, I might um, try it though. Oh yeah, and, and again, uh, so I don't know if you I, like. Uh, I have I know some of the guys who are, I worked. I was a game developer for 20 years, so I worked on games, um, and uh, I know some of the folks who are working on the game you're talking about uh, from Bethesda. So don't worry, they're going to do their best, and hopefully, it's a universe you like. There's a lot to explore, and the good thing is, is that all of the planets are very different. So maybe you can find a planet you like and still have that like kind of story element. Um, yeah, that's what I'm hoping. I also noticed that you you do some reading online as well. So like you do, you guys have been reading some fantasy novels and stuff like that. So I know you want to be a writer. What's what's the process for getting into that that you you've been kind of working on? Into my writing, yeah. my own writing. Yeah. It just comes into my head. I don't do anything. I sit down and make notes about things that come into my head. And it just sort of forms into a story, and I write it out, and then I read it online. Is, is there another place, like, is there a place to go and, like, find your works, like, uh, things you have written, or is the only place to really see it right now is on YouTube? It's on YouTube, Okay. Yeah. So make sure you guys like and subscribe, okay? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we'll get a little thing. Okay, uh, last question. Um, uh, we'll... Um, we're going to be, so just to kind of give you guys an update in terms of what's going to happen now. So we're going to let uh, Grandma go, and then we're going to go build her PC. Now, when we're done, she is going to come back, and we're going to bring her back, and we're going to do the PC power on and reveal with her. So she's going to go and just kind of enjoy the stream for a little bit. Um, and then uh, is there anything you want to say to the folks who are watching right now, Grandma? Uh, if there's a Q&A somewhere, I could be answering questions. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, dude, you, uh, if you want to, uh, we have people in both. If you just let me know which one, are you going to watch it on Twitch or are you going to watch it on YouTube? I'd rather watch it on YouTube. Okay, so uh, I will let people know that you're going to be on YouTube. Uh, have Ed just text me the name. I think it's just going to, uh, whatever your name is going to be, and then I'll just let people ask you questions there. Okay. Okay? I have it. Okay, I could be on YouTube uh, live. That's oh, Oh, there you go, and you just stream. You just stream, and then if people want to go over and see you and and have uh -huh. you watch the show, yeah, okay. Then uh, if you guys want to have questions, uh, we're gonna have Grandma. Uh, uh, she'll be going live uh, over on her YouTube. If you want to go answer questions, and while she watches it, you can be there and interact with her while she's watching the stream here. How about that? Okay. 
Okay. Sounds well, then we will me. we will see you in a few hours then. <laughs> okay. Okay. See you in a bit. Bye. Okay, guys. So that is who we are building for. And as you can see, she is she is an awesome lady, and I am very excited. And again, if you want to go and pop over to her uh, for a bit on YouTube and then uh, just interact with her while she's watching uh, us build here, I am completely okay with that. I have no issue whatsoever. Um, just make sure you ask her lots of questions, and if you have some, some questions for her, she's going to be available for you to chat. Um, uh, I think, yeah, so people were saying uh, that the uh, echo chamber, I don't know what specifically how that was happening, and I wasn't going to try and solve that uh, live on the show, so I apologize for that, but um, we will, uh, we'll, you know, it is one of the things, and I'd rather just have it work and go through uh, than have it, than stop it and make the whole thing kind of uh, pause. So we'll try and figure that out for future ones. When we did the test earlier, it was fine, so I don't know what was going on. But that's the way it always is here. You know, you always get technical gremlins. I hope it didn't sound too bad. Um, what, what, where? Okay, as long as you could hear it, there we go. At least Andy, you know, the thing is, as long as Andy's not mad, she, she could take me out. But that is the plan for today. Now, now that we have everything going in there, let me just tell you guys a little bit about this, the, the usual things. I'm gonna close this real quick so I can see you guys again. I'm gonna close this real quick. Okay, so let me tell you about the usual. So we do have some giveaways that are gonna happen during the show. Um, so first and foremost, a uh, huge shout out obviously to Newegg, uh, who still is providing giveaways for all these shows. So again, if we get, uh, I think a hype drain did happen. I don't think it got level five, but if we get 350 likes over on this video over at youtube.com slash robytech, we'll give away two $25 Newegg gift cards. Uh, if we get a second level five hype train, we'll just go ahead and add a single uh, $25 Newegg gift card to that as well. And then lastly, uh, we do still have a 3070. Now we're gonna be giving that 3070 in, in compartment uh, for this month and next month, given that I'm, I'm not streaming as much for, the, for this 30 days. So as long as you subscribe this month and next month, you'll be entered to win a 3080. We're gonna upgrade it to a 3080. So we're gonna be, instead of giving away a 3070 in the month of August, we'll give away a 3080 in the month of September and uh, both August subs and September subs will be eligible to win. So if you wanna get in on that, head on over to twitch.tv slash Uh Go ahead and use your free Amazon Prime gift sub. Uh, that gets you one entry. If you subscribe it to your one, you get three entries. If you subscribe it to your two, you get five entries. If you subscribe it to your three, you get 10 entries. Lastly, we also have a PC giveaway uh, that we have 22 days to go for. We're gonna be giving away a PC. We're gonna be building that in early September. Uh, if you wanna get in on that, of course, every subscribe uh, subscription that you do adds towards that number. And then we will be giving away a full-blown PC right here the moment that we hit all those subs. So that's all the stuff that we're basically doing. That's all the subs that we're gonna be doing. And that's all the giveaways happening for today. Now, once we're done with uh, uh, Grandma Shirley's build, uh, or Grandma Curry's build, sorry, Grandma Shirley Curry, uh, but once we're finished with her build and we uh, have a go, then I'll be jumping over uh, playing Hearthstone. I'm gonna be playing Hearthstone on the Intel stage at PAX. So we'll be playing some Hearthstone tonight as well. So we got a long stream ahead, lots to look forward to. And I hope you guys sit back, relax and enjoy what we're gonna do. But yeah, it should be a great build. We're gonna go ahead and start walking through parts in just a second. But do we have any questions, anything that people wanna get caught up, anything like that? Sorry, I know we're kind of getting things moving, but I wanna make sure that I answer any questions. Looks like Shockwave says, sheesh. <clears throat> yeah. Do I have chances to get even if I live in Europe? So uh, for the for the physical giveaways, unfortunately, no. There's no uh, there's no real easy answer for you. Unfortunately, just because of tax laws and all that sort of stuff, it's going to be U.S., Canada, and Mexico. Uh, except for the new A gift cards, are going to be U.S. and right, right. Which one is it right now? Favorite part of vacation? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, Blani, can you confirm the giveaway locations for new A cards? I, I forgot. Um, favorite part of vacation was probably Guardians of the Galaxy. Got to ride the new Guardians of the Galaxy attraction over at um, Epcot. It was fan freaking tastic. One of the coolest roller coasters I've ever been on, and probably one of the best soundtracks. Given Guardians just has such an incredible soundtrack to pull from, so that was super awesome. Will you belly dance for a stream if we break 2K on the hype train? No, I will not belly dance ever. Yeah, bell just gift card locations. Yes. Uh, yeah, she uh, Pool of Clay, she actually was on a little bit earlier. She's going to be on again. If you want to go check her out, she's over live on her YouTube channel watching the stream here. But yes, yeah, she will she will be back on the show again. So, okay, so you knew what? New Egg gift cards are only U.S. only. We're just having issues purchasing them in, in any other country right now. So, 
and you can go watch her right now. The older, Shirley Curry, the older gamer. Well, there you go. That's, that's her channel right now. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and talk about parts. We're gonna go ahead and start doing the build and then we'll go from there. So uh, at the core of this, and just to kind of prove that, you know what, PC, uh, you can still use older, um, older uh, and make great PCs um, out of um, some last gen GP, uh, CPUs. We're gonna be using a Core i7 11700K. The good thing about using an 11700K is that we don't have LGA 1700, so we know that all the components we're gonna know uh, are gonna work with this. And for her playing Skyrim, this is going to work absolutely beautiful. Uh, should be uh, an epic CPU for this. Uh, for the... Uh, for the motherboard, we're gonna be using the Tough Gaming Z590 Plus Wi-Fi. Uh, we're gonna be using the, M, uh, the, uh, the MSI Z690, uh, Z590 Plus Wi-Fi. Uh, absolutely uh, awesome, still a great platform uh, uh, in terms of what she needs for what she's gonna be doing with, uh, with uh, uh, Skyrim, etc. And even if she wanted to play some of the newer games more than uh, nowadays, she's gonna be able to do 1440p gaming. And right now she plays at 1080p, this should be absolutely easy and fine for her. Um, let's see, for her cooling for the 11700, we're gonna be using the uh, Tough Gaming LC240 ARGB. We of course have to have RGB uh, in this build. So we're gonna absolutely make sure that it shines uh, like the North Star or like the stars uh, in which the constellations that are used so much during the game of Skyrim. Um, so we're gonna make sure that this, I think the plan is is that we've got uh, these beautiful cable mod cables, but we're also gonna make most of the lighting white so it looks like she's got like the the inside is almost like the Skyrim sky um, as well when she uh, basically looks at the PC. Um, for her GPU, we're using the uh, beautiful Asus Tough Gaming RTX 3060 Ti. Absolutely love this, uh, absolutely love this CPU. These are some of the best looking ones. I like them also because they don't have a lot of the frills and not near as many peels as the uh, RTX 3080 um, Strix, which, I mean, you guys know how many times we've used that on the, on, the, uh, on the show and we've ended up having to peel it for like 30 bajillion hours. Uh, for a power supply, um, she's got room to grow and that's something that I always love. Uh, so they chose the RG Strix 850 watt uh, PSU. So she's definitely gonna have uh, lots of room to grow, grow there. Um, if she wants to jump up to a 3080 or something like that uh, in the future. And then we've also got some, just some additional RGB fans as well. We've got the Tough Gaming TF120. Uh, fans to go with the uh, GT301 case that we have over here. The one thing I like about the GT301 is it's a very tall, it's a little bit taller, but it's a very compact case, which means putting it in any, you know, in terms of what it needs from a footprint standpoint is actually not too bad, which is gonna be fun. And then lastly, we have some huge hookups as well from Kingston. So huge shout out to Kingston for this. We've got two PCIe Gen 4 NVMe SSDs. They are both one terabyte um, uh, NVMe drives, which would be fine. I know she's got, we've got Gen 3 on, uh, Gen 3 on the Z590, but it's all it's gonna do is just uh, drop the uh, overall speed down. And then we've got uh, uh, DDR4, we've got uh, Kingston Fury DDR4. I believe this is 32 gigs at 3200 megahertz and it's CL16. So nice, uh, and this, there's two packs here, they're just stuck together. Um, but nice low latency, uh, which should be good. And then lastly, which I mean, you can't ever go wrong with this, and huge shout out to Andy at the lab for these. But we've got custom cables from Cable Mod uh, to make sure this all goes together. And I like, I love the colors that she chose here. So they're blue, gray, and blue, uh, yellow. So these should look actually very, very nice as well. So we won't have to use those cables and it's going to look very good, so. Should be good, should be a pretty build, and it should be, a, should be a fun time. But that's what's happening today, guys. So uh, what do you guys think? It should be a good, it's coming in just, uh, just shy of, just a little over $2,000, so it should, it should come out really nice, and it's all gonna fit in a nice compact place, which would be great for her uh, gaming setups. Hey, Kingston Techs here in the channel are going to look great in that system. Yes, they are, Kingston, as is your RAM. I think the uh, RAM is also gonna look really good. Um, and go from there. So I think this should look, this should look, uh, this should look uh, nice and fresh and, and good to go. Okay, so there is our build. It's time for, and wow, it's been a while guys. I'm just trying to catch up here. Uh, my, uh, my mind is coming out of a fog, but it is time for the first prediction of the show. And that prediction is essentially um, on, uh, oh, never mind, this doesn't have that. Well, maybe, actually it does. Okay, well, hold on. We'll hold off on the prediction until I get until I get this open, and then we'll we'll go from there. It's been a while since I've done an 11 gen. 
I think we still have the BRM cover. I just don't know if it jumps. Oh, look at all the subs. Riddick, thank you. Riddick, thank you very much for the sub. Uh, we get gifted subs. We got Ginger Ale. Thank you very much for the gifted subs. Bmock dropping some subs, taking us to 200 on the giveaway stuff. Skyscanner recently. Hey, it's Skyscanner. Uh, Najia Panda. Thank you very much as well. We got Shoom State. Uh, Blade of Ice dropping a gifted sub. Tier three. That's awesome. Uh, we also got High Country Gaming, OG Gamer, and then we got Bobby Cat who joined us, uh, giving out some gifted subs as well. And then TTV Nori. Nori. Um, so thank you for. Oh no, there's more. Sorry. Uh, there's also Tio Liev um, as well. So thank you very much for all those subs and for being a part of uh, Welcome to the Family. What's up, De what's up, Debeer? How are you? Okay, let's start with that top down. We're gonna get this out of the way. I need my workspace, guys. Oh, so light, so light. Whoo, Roby, should I ask if, uh, if you're giving her the room to insert a capture card? So she could stream on Twitch if she wants to pursue that. Yes, there is room for a capture card in here. DJ Techno, she'll have no issue. We, it's only, she's got, uh, she'll have uh, two slots down at the bottom. What's the difference in motherboards? Uh, Kivu, it, it, it's actually, the, the funny thing is, a lot of the difference starts to come into things like trace routes, like what features, but in terms of performance from motherboard to motherboard to motherboard, um, it um, really kind of the thing that you're paying for is like VRM and heat. Um, so usually I, I have our tendency to recommend mid-range motherboards, which have pretty suitable VRMs, which means you're not gonna have anything like VRM throttling and stuff like that. Um, but that's, so kind of the, the, the short of it is, is really it's about VRMs, it's about, um, it's about uh, what features are on the board, and then lastly, uh, little extra things, like then it starts to get into like water cool stuff and things like that. So if I have a Gigabyte B450D3, that is a pretty, so I would say that's on the very low end. Um, and the big thing for you is that's where you might have VRM issues, Kibu. Um, honestly, at that point in time, like I usually recommend jumping up to like a B550, something like mid-range, like an Asus Tough Board would be a good choice. Um, you don't necessarily need to jump to something like a Strix or whatever it was, but Tough is actually just a kind of a, like the board we're using here, which has pretty suitable VRMs. Um, and at the same time also has a lot of the features, stuff like that. Don't say anything too interesting. What would that mean? There's precision jumping in there, but yeah, I mean, it's not, it's, it's just, you are gonna have limitations because of the VRMs. Okay, let's, I'm gonna start getting this ripped out and go to top down here. This, this is the camera that was, that made me late, by the way, guys. The top down camera was being wonky. I just realized I did not hit record. Okay, there's that. Got our M.2 screws. We got our books. But we don't need any of that. We don't need no stinking, oops. We don't need no stinking books. Ugh. Uh, right now, I'm, I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna look at this motherboard. Okay, so let's go and do the prediction. And the prediction is, will the VRM, will the socket cover co uh, clear the VRM? That is the question we have right now. Will the socket cover clear the VRM? We're gonna find out if this is gonna happen. Ugh. So let's get that prediction done. While we're doing that, I'm gonna open up the other things that belong to us and give it a little bit more time. Well, I'd, I would recommend an X570 over, it, depending on what you need from a functionality standpoint, then yes, for instance, there are going to be Z590 or, uh, sorry, X570 boards over a B550 board. Um, as for Z490 over Z590, no, because you couldn't use Z490, Z590, 11th gen didn't work in Z490. It does? Yeah, I don't know. There's not there's not gonna be a whole lot I can do about that. I'm gonna have to restart. The thing is, is that we had to plug it in right in the middle of the whole thing. So it's, it looks like it's a little bit laggy. And that's like restart the PC. It might be a display um, video card uh, driver issue. I just need to update the driver. That does happen. 
Look at those sexy, look at those sexy Fury drives. Welcome to coming back from, uh, welcome to coming back from your, um, from your vacation and like you like they redid the room. And uh, so in redoing the room, there's just some things we've had to kind of start working the kinks out of. I think it might be only running at 15. It could be, I don't, I think it's just literally, it's probably, let me see if I can just refresh it. Sometimes this works. It's definitely, uh, that seems a little bit better. But yeah, it's definitely not. It's running at 60. No, we're not giving away 30, 60 to you. We're giving away a 30, 80, but not till next month. And there's that RAM for us. Well, it's going to, it's going to Grandma Shirley. We're going, it's going to Grandma, Grandma Skyrim. So I'm glad that, you know, this is, this is going to a very good PC. Very good person. And also guys, don't forget to head over to uh, twitch.t, uh, youtube.com slash Roby Tech Live and uh, put in that, uh, put in that, uh, put in your, uh, do that thumbs up. Okay, here we go. I don't remember if these actually uh, pop or not. So we're gonna find out. Here we go. Uh, so she is, uh, she's just enjoying the stream now. She was on a little bit earlier. Uh, uh, we just did an interview. She'll be back on again at the end of the stream. Okay, here we go. Does this pop? That's the question. We had a luck, the last one that we did, did. And I'm hoping that this one does the same, but I don't know, this doesn't have the same pop capability that 12th gen does. She was on a little bit earlier. She is she's supposed to be going live on her channel. Um, I don't know if that's still a thing or still gonna happen. Some people that said she wasn't live yet, but she's supposed to be, she may be live over on her channel, uh, letting, you know, enjoying this at the, from, so you guys can chat with her there. Okay, here we go. Nope, that was a big no-no, guys. That was a big no, it did not pop like we had hoped it to. <laughs> That was a big disappointing no. Can we get a big disappointing no? Let's throw some uh, thermal paste on this. Oh, thanks, Kivu. Yeah, you definitely, yeah, you definitely won that one. That was a big, that was a big no, no. Uh, for, it depends. If you're gonna do ray tracing, then a 30, 70 for sure. If it's just game performance, they're about the same, actually. But ray tracing on a, ray tracing on a, um, on a 30, 70 is significantly better. Okay, let's get the other prediction in. Because Kingston is new to the Roby Tech family, in terms of we haven't used their RAM a lot, we've used it a lot on um, Intel Gamer Days in on mod workshops, but let's put it at 95.5. Will it be louder than 95.5 is the question. That is the question for decibel RAM. Okay, we're gonna get this covered. Make sure we got good coverage of thermal paste. There we go. Okay. Get that cleaned off. It's taking me a little bit to get back into the rhythm of this. Uh, we got four dims. And a lot of little extra here. Okay. Oh no. Oh man, I am 
on fire here with this. There you go. Having to re-get my skills back up, guys. Whew, it's been a while. It's been a while. I feel a little bit, I feel a little bit rusty over here on Roby Tech today. Hopefully, hopefully you guys are entertained. Maybe I just need to do some like extra dancing or something. I don't know. So CV4, CVT Faith. Um, for a game like Skyrim, yes, but um, even for 1440p gaming, you're talking about, um, you know, 160, you know, almost 200 plus FPS on most of your modern day um, uh, competitive shooters at um, low frame rates, because, I mean, at low visual settings, which is best for um, basically competitive shooters. Most of your other games like Cyberpunk, you're going to get up, you could, I mean, with DLSS uh, set to performant, I can get, you know, close to 70, 80 frames per second. So yeah, it's... Uh, uh, it's it, it's a great PC. It's a great moderate PC for um, or actually in some people like people would say some of this is like a, you know great moderate PC for gaming. Yes. Okay, so there we go. We're still waiting on the prediction. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put in our M.2 drives. Thanks to the fine folks over at Kingston for hooking us up. Thank you again. We're gonna make it look good when we put these in. We're gonna do some extra flourish, really just to accentuate. The M.2 drives here, guys. Got to make these look good. Uh, Kivu, it just depends on how close it is to the glass. If it's not very close to the glass, you shouldn't have much of an issue. Um, but yes, if it's too close, you can actually starve it for air. So it's case dependent. Ram clicks will be 100, wow. That's a pretty good PC, CBT for 1080p. That would be a great 1080p system. Okay, here we go. Okay, Kingston, you ready? Is Kingston still here? Here we go. We're giving it extra flourish. It's so fast. Bam. Renegade. That was that. That was extra flourish. In the, uh, in the install of the M.2. It feels like the M.2s never get enough love. We give it extra, extra flourish today. There it is, there's some extra flourish. Okay, here we go, you guys ready? Here we go, here, here's, a, here's a new game that we've never played before, ready? It's called, and okay, here's what I want you to do. Every time I say, every time I say peekaboo, every time I pe say peekaboo, you guys have to do hashtag giggle. You guys ready? Hashtag giggle, you guys ready? Okay, ready? Peekaboo. See, we're doing M.2 peekaboo. Peekaboo. <laughs> there you go, Kingston. Peekaboo. <laughs> Come on, that's funny. That's funny. M.2 Peekaboo. There we go. We did M.2. <laughs> he is not okay. Yes, I am not okay. Come on. That was hilarious. Okay, we're going to put it under that nice little. Ugh, come on. Hashtag giggle. Actually, you know what? We can, we'll leave this one. I, I don't know. We'll leave that one out. We'll leave that one out. Cause it does match. It does actually match the, the thing. So we'll leave that one out. We'll cover the bottom one though. We'll leave this one out. We'll leave that one viewable. So Kingston gets a little love there. We'll do peekaboo at the bottom. Okay, 
This one will go, this one will cover up. We'll leave the other one visible, visible. Okay, here we go, ready? Extra, extra flourish there. Boom. Okay. It wiggles and giggles. Oh, you'll be able to see the slot from the, from the, when we do the B-roll and stuff. Don't worry, this will get smexy B-roll. This will definitely get smexy B-roll. Who doesn't want, who doesn't want smexy B-roll? There we go, okay. Okay, there we go. I am the worst at lining this up. Wow, I might have to duck butt this guy. There we go, okay. And it's been a while since I've had to duck butt. Okay, got that one in. Okay, now we got, so we got one visible and one that's in the peekaboo spot. It, no, I'm not losing my touch. I'm just losing my touch. There you go. Okay, it's been a while. Come on, it's been, it's been a week. A man can, a man can get a little rusty after a week. Okay, right, here we go. Big one, let's pause the music. Okay, big one here. Decibels for Ram. Kingston is a new entry here at the Robitech family. You know, I just realized before I get too far, I forgot to put the screw back in. So we want to add another one. Go. I just add this so that way if she wants to add another M.2 at some later point. Kingston wants to, if Kingston wants to send her a six terabyte Gen 4 NVMe drive. We can do that. Oh, good. look what we got. Now, Kilt Man. Robitech dad joke phone out. We got a dad joke request from Kilt Man. Peel that off. There we go. Okay, cool. Okay, we're good there. Make sure this is good. Okay, that one's in. And this one is. There we go. All right, now we're set. Okay, now everything's good. Okay, time for decibel check, guys. Decibel check time. Boom. You guys ready? Here we go. Gonna make sure this is good. Make sure this is the right one. 95.5 is what it's gotta be at. You can see that very clearly. This is a nice thick size, too. 95.5 is the decibel for the click. You guys ready? Ooh, 94.1 on the first one, 94.1. Ooh. I don't know if it's gonna hit it, guys. It does look good, though. Ooh, 77.4 on that one. The board is not, the board's not helping. We gotta get 95.5, guys. Covent, what's up, buddy? 86. Okay, last one. I gotta make this count. Ninety-five point three. I just barely missed it. Ninety-five point three. That was that was the best click by far. But unfortunately, we did not hit it to ninety-five point five, guys. But alas, still, it's always good to have people who are like so close. It was not rigged. Stop it. 
It was not rigged. Okay. So there we go. Motherboard looks good, right? Like, does it? And I and I have to agree with this. Like this Fury, this Kingston Fury thing actually looks like it's made for the board. So it actually looks really, really nice. I'm glad that we kept that cover off. So I think that's a, that actually was a nice little touch. It's like it's it's almost like it's almost like Kingston. It's almost like Kingston planned it that way, guys. It's almost like Kingston planned it that way. <clears throat> yeah, I like I do like the way their RAM looks. I need to use more of their RAM in our builds. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and put our bracket in. Silent Professional, thank you very much for the resub. 23 months Coven has been subscribing to me. If I start the, I don't know how to do the RAM clip, uh, how to do the prediction. I guess we'll just skip that one today, Blondie. I don't know how to stop it. Unless somebody else does, and it's okay if we don't. I know that you got stuff going on. Yeah, we're behind the scenes watching. Have fun, Blondie. Everybody say bye, Blondie. Blondie's gotta go take care of some important gaming stuff, guys. So she does not leave, she does not lose this, she does not leave us lightly. Okay, let's get our uh... Okay, let's do we got the dad jokes. Let me go ahead and pause the music here. Oh, I'm not gonna pause the music. Let's go ahead and take a look at the dad joke and go from there. Let's see what we got here. Dad jokes. Because we got one, one request. <laughs> okay. Let's see, let's go more to the top. I don't know if we've read up anything. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Who? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Who is the most? Who is the most lonely billionaire? Who is the most lonely billionaire? Alone Musk. <laughs> okay. What do you call? What do you call two monkeys who share an Amazon account? What do you call two monkeys that share an Amazon account? Prime mates. <laughs> Those are both good. Now, another Roby Tech dad joke. There it is right there. Primates. Okay, let's get this set up in here now. There we go. Get our... <laughs> I have to stretch now too. Everybody's taking good care of me today. Put this in. Go to back to top down. I thought, I thought that was a, I thought that was very tasteful. I thought it was a tasteful joke. Getting the, getting the, whoa. I was like, where are the other parts there? Okay, boys and girls. Our motherboard is built. What do you call a royal heavyweight part company? Ooh, look at this, kilt man. Kilt man making the, making the, making the, uh, the jokes there. Kingston Tech. Look at that. <clears throat> hey, Yuli, thank you very much for the, uh, thank you for the, uh, the shout out from Argentina. Oh, SM3H says I need a stretch though. Okay, there we go. Let's do a stretch here. I'm gonna assume the stretch position. That's a good stretch position. I call this one, I hurt my back. That's what I call this one. How's it going? Oh, what do you think? You're very welcome. It's called I hurt my back. That was the name of that stretch. You're welcome.
You like that? How many, how many? We're here! Oh, nice. What's up, Liquid? Another person, oh, we have two of the panelists, by the way. Two of the panelists who are gonna be joining me at PAX for the Intel uh, DIY LAN, uh, like uh, small form factor. We got Liquid House in the house. Liquid House in the house. And we got Andy the Lab. Both people, you should come and check out with me uh, at PAX if you're coming to PAX West. If you, are we gonna raise a hand for people who are coming to PAX West? If you're coming to PAX West, raise your hands. What GPU series was the most anticipated for you? For me, it was 3000 series. Unfortunately, it was also the most anticipated for everybody else too. Oh, good. Uh, well, you guys gotta come say hi. We're gonna be doing a panel on Friday uh, from sometime to sometime, 3.30? No, no, I don't know what time the panel is. I need to figure it out. I, I do know when the panel, but the, so the panel is, hold on. Hey, uh, Glenn, when is the panel for PAX? I'm asking, I'm gonna get that, I'm gonna get that answer because I don't remember off the top of my head. I know that I have a 1030 mod workshop. Oh, he went to FedEx, okay, he went to FedEx. We'll get you the answer. The panel is on Friday though, uh, so I do know that. Okay, we're stripping down the case now. Oh, 3.30 p.m., there it is. 3.30 p.m. to, I think it's 3.30 to 4.30. Okay, so here, Friday's a packed day. So thank you very much, Andy, for, uh, for doing that. So 10.30 to two is my mod workshop. I'll be on the Intel stage. 3.30 to 4.30 is the PAX panel that we're gonna be doing, talking about small form factor and land builds. And then from five to six on Friday, I'll be playing Hearthstone on the main stage. So yeah, it's a busy, it's a busy Friday. So all of my commitments are on like Friday. I don't have anything Saturday or Sunday. Although I am streaming on Saturday for sure. And then I know that, yeah, it's a fun packed day. And then I know that um, Liquid House is doing Saturday and Sunday at 10.30, when I understand. So he'll be doing streams on Saturday and Sunday, or Saturday and Monday, sorry. Um, and then I think, I, think, uh, I think those are the only three mod workshops. Look at that, it's so light. It's a light build now. <clears throat> Any meet and greets, giveaways, wild Robitech parties? I don't know, you know what, that's a good question. I don't know how many of my audience, I don't know how many people will be there. You know, it's funny, like when I did PAX East, like I learned just how many people actually knew who I was. So um, I don't know, maybe if it makes sense, I'll put something together if people wanna come say hi. But the best place to see me will just be come to the, come to the Intel stage or come to the panel because that's where I'll be. Oh, Coven's gonna be there. Hey, Coven, are you going to TwitchCon? Yeah, not until RobyCon. We're gonna do a RobyCon. Uh, no, uh, Dallas is, uh, Zeiston, Dallas got moved to October. I found that out yesterday. Uh, yesterday. So now Dallas is in October. Welcome to Sometimes is the Way We Go. Oh, that'd be awesome, Kivu. Well, if you're at PAX, I'm there. Oh, you want Roby? Oh, RobyCon in Dallas, yes. People want to go to RobyCon, apparently. What would we do at RobyCon? I will be at TwitchCon for two things, looks like. Oh, Kingston, are we going to hang out at PAX like we did? We need a Robicon in Canada. People want a Robicon? Tickets will be free and everybody gets a 3080. Everybody will be like, yay, hey, Farger. Yeah, I was looking on WoW. I, I, I logged into WoW this afternoon and got a couple quests in. And then uh, I saw that, uh, I saw that uh, Kilt Man was like the same level I was. And so, and a lot of people were getting ahead. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I don't want to, <laughs> I travel a lot. So yeah, I, I think I just kind of get used to it. Okay, we're just gonna get this out. Okay, so all the cables are out. I'm gonna get rid of all these and kind of get things ready here. Wow, that looks good. 
Yeah. Been... Given what you had to do, yes. <laughs> that looks good. Okay, so we got our board control here for this. I'm probably gonna not use the board control because we want this to light up the right way here at the beginning. I'm just gonna get these undone. Do you have booths at tech events? I am usually at other booths during tech events. I don't know if it has made sense yet for me to have my own booth. I will probably, uh, Asus will have a booth there. So I'm probably hoping that uh, I can go hang out with uh, the uh, Andy and the team over at Asus for a little bit. Hopefully they're gonna have one of those flows there. I just got finished reviewing the X13 flow, but they I wanna review the Z13. I don't know what they're doing at the, uh, at the booth yet. Okay, that's that. We're gonna get rid of this. Okay, we're just getting rid of the extra stuff I don't need right now. And then we'll go back and start getting the things in. Okay, there we go. I'll go, I'll be over there playing with the flow. I had to send my X13 back to the, well, it's getting ready to go back. It might've already gone back. I think it just went back. Hey, Riddick, thank you for the five gifted subs, my man. His PC, I'm super excited about when we do Riddick's. We're doing a Deadpool PC for him. And uh, uh, we have uh, Blue Horse doing the, doing the painting for it. Um, but he's, uh, it's a little behind because of PAX right now. Because I keep overloading Blue Horse. 13 bits, thank you very much for that, Riddick. Taking the top spot for this week so far. And Farga dropping a thousand bits. I know it's early for some people. They're not used to us streaming this early. We're usually like four hours from now. Ah, uh, yes, it, it is going to be worth the wait. I agree, Riddick. We got a couple big, we got a white uh, height Y60 coming out. This We got a red height Y60 build this week. We got, we got some good builds coming this week. And tomorrow, guys, tomorrow is Blondie's build. We're gonna be doing Blondie's build. What's up, Super Mario? It's a me, Mario. Okay. Okay, so we got the build. This is all stripped now, ready for our beautiful motherboard to be put in. Motherboard. It's a me, Mario. There we go. Okay, let's get this in. It's got a, it's got a little bit of a, I feel like the camera got moved a little bit. Pull that one over and maybe a little bit. Okay, cool. <sighs> Uh, budget inverted case with tempered glass. Oops, almost forgot to peel. Budget inverted case with tempered glass. I mean, honestly, the least expensive one I know is the 011 Evo, right? I can't think of another inverted one off the top of my head. I don't know if Aza makes one. I'm not sure. Yeah, she is, uh, yeah, Main Gear is uh, doing a PC for her as part of Intel Gamer Days. And just like, this is a part of, this is another Intel Gamer Days type thing too. All the Intel Gamer Days stuff happening right now. Uh, I think that they've got the recall and they're trying to do the right thing by fixing it right now. KW. Okay, here we go. Get these in. Time to get this to look pretty. It's always the fun part. When you're at this point, like you know it's just like you're at the fun. Like the fun part is like getting the motherboard in, starting to make everything look pretty.
Yeah, Blondie is currently doing some stuff with ambassadors today. Okay, making this look good. That's the whole point here. Get a build done. Not today, Riddick. Just because uh, Blondie's not here to manage the prediction stuff. She'll be back tomorrow. Here we go. Can you build? Oh, well, wait, we, we've done that before. Hopefully we're gonna get to do that in one of their new cases. I've asked to get one. I gotta, I'll ping Jacob to see if he hooks us up. Okay, there we go. Looking good thus far. Okay, there's all the that. So let's start hooking up our start hooking up all our extra cabling here. Wow, I can wow, wow. I got none of those in the bag. So far it does look really good, precision, I agree. It's coming together nicely. Thanks, one. Appreciate it. Appreciate that you're enjoying the stream. I think everybody for uh, first time tuning in. It's good to see you guys. Okay, what do I need now? I'm gonna go ahead and hook up cables. Go ahead and take this off. I don't have any SSDs. I'm all about not having excess if I don't need it. Okay, looking good thus far. Let's throw. Well, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and put our rear fan in real quick. These TF120s we got here. I don't know, you never know. I think a Robicon could be in the future. I think Kingston and Asus would come, right? Silent Professional, I have no idea. I've never, I don't know if I've ever seen an email go out, but I don't run the mod stuff. Uh, I, would, I would ping Blondie. Uh, she may know, she may know, um, if, uh, if that happens. Welcome back, Liquid. Liquid's having a fun day. Wow, geez, that would be a, that would be a, that would be quite the thing to bring to show off there, Org. You're welcome, glad I can answer the question. Sometimes you don't have a choice, am I right, Liquid? There we go. We got we got AMD committed to Rubicon. Uh, iced Calibre because this is uh, sponsored by Intel. As part of Intel Gamer Days. That seems like a good answer, don't you think? It's four sticks of eight, tech. 
Liquid House is in. That means we're going to be showing some sick builds. Oh, it's frustrating, but I'm still going to keep it this way for cabling reasons. Oh, it's okay. It's a, it's, a, it's a good question. It's a good question. I have no problem with it, Iced. Five gifted subs from Riddick again. Wait, no, never mind. That was the same five. I just misread. I guess I just... You've only done it once, right, Riddick? Yes, okay. Sorry, it looked like he did gotten it twice. How are we doing on likes on YouTube, guys? Head on over to youtube.com slash robytechlive. Don't forget to hit those likes. We gotta hit that 350 to give away those other giveaways. Head on over to youtube.com slash RubyTechLive, hit that thumbs up button. There we go. One more screw, one more screw. Oh, thanks Farger. It's all good, man. I appreciate the support. Okay, now we got RGB. RGB everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. We want all the RGB. Right, am I right? Okay, we're gonna pop this through here real quick. separately okay let's go ahead and run our cables through the holes before i do that i'm going to grab our rgb we're actually going to control all the rgb from the same hub just to make it simple and then these fans are all on here oh all the fans are daisy chained oh that's kind of that's kind of nice okay so i don't have to worry about one fan hub here Okay. Okay, so let's start running fans here, running cables. Go to our side view. Okay, so we're gonna take, the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this Schmittany Litany. Of fan cables here, there we go. We're gonna run this one up. Right here. Plug that in right here. There we go. I'm trying to see where else we have fans. We have a fan there. I could run the pump there. I gotta see what it got though. Okay, so there's our three main fans. Next one we're gonna do, we're gonna grab our HD audio that's gonna pop up right here. We're gonna pop that in, get that going. There we go. Okay, there's HD audio. Next up, USB 3.2. Run that right here. There we go, USB 3.2. We do not have USB-C, which is all good. Okay, last one is our front panel connectors, which we'll hook up when it's laying down. And then I'll figure out where I'm gonna put my exhaust here in a minute. Okay, so let's lay this down, hook up our front panel connectors. Front panel. Okay, so we got power switch, reset switch. Okay, cool. Power plus and minus. Power set switch. Okay, that was kind of painful. Reset. Power and power plus and minus. Oh, come on.
There we go. Okay, so there's all of our cables hooked up. There we go. Okay, so as far as we got, all of our front panel connectors are in. All look nice. We'll make them look pretty here in a minute. We'll take care of that here in a second. And then I think that's it. So let's do a little cable management, guys. Let's do a little cable management in the back and then we'll put in our AI, AI, O. Yeah, the front case fans, I mean, we do have lots of pretty here. They should look nice. So we got lots, we got tough, we'll have tough at the top. And then of course uh, the front will look plain. Uh, so uh, Gade, uh, Gabe Ballerin says, hey, if, they, if all the front panels always laid out the same, why haven't they made all-in-one plugs instead of a bunch of little ones? Um, actually, there is a patent for uh, the, a completed one, but the companies need to pay to use it. So companies like NZXT, uh, some Asus cases, um, and um, I think one other case that we actually used not recent, just recently also pays, they actually have a full-blown front panel header. That's just a single header like HD audio and not a separate one. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna save this. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna create, and I'm not, I'm gonna, we're gonna hook this up later, which is, this is so the HD, uh, it can be controlled by the, okay, what I'm gonna do now is I gotta figure out how I wanna make this look nice. So we're gonna do this. I grab my bigger group of US here. We are. Okay, zip tie time. It's that time, guys. It's zip tie time. Everybody's favorite time. Yeah, it actually happens on quite a few things, Liquid. I don't know, you may have more experience with that than most people. I don't know if you, if you have you had to patent some of your stuff? I'm just out of curiosity, because I mean, I know that you have some like unique stuff that you've done. Igor, 1980 coming in, dropping his two gifted subs. You having to go back to work, buddy? I'm just getting used to your rhythm. Yeah, you want, like um, on some of these cases, like they want to keep cog costs low, right? So that way it's, uh, you know, more budget case than, you know, a, a, say for instance, a, sit, a certain other one. So it just really comes down to what makes the most sense. Robert. Uh, 117 for 11700 k retweet and came to check this out. Glad to see actual positive community. It's a shame Asus didn't commit to giving Grandma Curry the newest components. Good for Roby Tech for doing this. Bring Andy on the Mod Monday. Uh, honestly, I, you know, Robert, I, I understand, like, in terms of her not getting, like, a 12th gen, but at the same time, uh, I think some of this is also to understand that if you, people buy, like, pre-built systems that are, like, 11th gen and stuff like that, and we'll show this with the video that we're going to have coming out later, that there's still a lot of life left um, specifically given some of these can be less expensive, but I understand and you're very welcome for having the positivity. Positivity. I don't know why I said it like a British person, like a British individual. Um, but um, yeah, no, thank you very much. I'm glad that you, uh, you're enjoying the positivity, dude. That is always our goal, is to never make this, uh, to make this a fun, safe environment for people to ask questions, no matter what they are, so they feel like they have a safe place to ask questions about building or components or whatever it is. And uh, we have some incredible people who help us with that stuff. But thank you. Thank you for the 117 bucks, man, that's huge. It all goes to support our team. So I'm glad people are having fun. It's good to be back. I, I have missed uh, streaming. 
I missed you guys. I don't do very many. I, I just because I don't want to. Like, so I grew up. I, I mean, I uh, my little brother was born in the UK, um, and like you know, it's just kind of one of those things. Like, if I do a terrible British accent, I feel like I would offend somebody. So I don't. I mean, also like it's funny. My daughter and her friends when we were at Disney World, we pretended to be British the entire time we were in line at Space Mountain. I don't know. It's something they wanted to do. So I mean. I'll do them then, but I don't, I have a tendency not to do it very often. So I'm just trying to be, I'm just trying to be nice. But uh, you know, sometimes I'll like, I'll do Mickey and I'll do a British one sometimes and I'll do Irish. And if I offend you, I know it's good, bad, but I'm just trying to have some fun. There you go. I want this more in here just to hide it. Okay, Let's see what we got here. trying to get this into this hole in here. There you go. That was weird. Okay, get that out of the way. Okay, that clears up that whole like little nightmare over on the left side. So nice. Yep. Okay. So now we're just going to fix our one spine here. fix the things and we'll have like the major cable to kind of cover the other part up. <clears throat> What's up Silver? How are you? I like the name Silver the Hedgehog. Is that is there a is there a hedgehog named Silver? I don't remember. Five thousand. Somebody's asking me to hydrate. There we go. <clears throat> it's good to see everybody. Everybody having fun? Hope you guys are.
You're planning dinner? Oh. What are we what are you making me? What are you making me for dinner, Kilt Man? What are people's dinner plans tonight? What are you making me? And when can I come over to your house and eat it? Chicken and yellow rice. Fast until tomorrow, why? Just because? what I'm gonna eat yet. I have to figure it out. You guys are making me hungry. Quesadillas, ooh, tech, quesadillas sound good. I'm just gonna strip this and put this right here for now. What is auto, what is that, Assyrian? What's up, Najia, how are you? K-Dog, thank you very much for the resub. How are we doing on likes on YouTube, guys? Don't forget to head over to YouTube, hit those thumb, that thumb up button. Chilling at work? Yeah, it's early today for the stream. Oh, thanks, Niji. I appreciate it. The, the build will look good when we're done. So, okay. 135 likes on YouTube. Everybody just do me a favor. Just take a quick second. Head on over to youtube.com slash Robitech Live. And just, would you mind popping over there? Showing, showing grandma some love. Uh, and this, of course, Asus and Kings is some love. And hit that, go hit that thumbs up button. It's free. Just hit the thumbs up. And while you're over there, subscribe. But yeah, uh, youtube.com slash Robitech Live. Let's get that count up. Okay, there's most of the cable management stuff kind of done, so we can, it'll be fast from here. We'll take care of it, we'll hook that up later. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with that. And then from now, we got pretty much everything. Yeah, subs and likes are freeze, guys. Okay, cool. Flip, flip this over, continue the journey of this PC build. Front looks clean. You go ahead and pop this in just to hide the other cable. She gave me both. OK. 
Okay, EPS. It's always nice when you have another PC builder help you plan your builds. Yeah, the cables came out great. I'm very happy. You said uh, you were like, you were like, I hope you like the colors. The colors are awesome. Got one more. I forgot we have another EPS, but I'll just throw that in there for now. Get it under control. What uh, what inspired uh, Andy? What inspired you to do those colors? If you subscribe, you don't see the ads, right? I don't know if that's true or not. I thought I thought that was true. Oh, okay. I like it. There we go. to each other. There we go. Okay, cool. There, now we have our first little pop of color here. Starting to show through, which I love. Who doesn't love pop, pops of color? Pops of color. There we go. Okay, we'll, run all, we'll route all that stuff later. Okay, so now we got our first pops of color with EPS put in. This 
these little blues down there so they show a little bit better. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, let's get our AIO in. This way. Okay. This is like this. This is going to go like this. So this will be like that. Okay, cool. Okay. Get these in. Wow stick. Well, yeah, it's an Asus, it's an Asus build. Asus, Kingston, and Cable Mod, and Intel. I would have switched the cables the other way. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's a four and eight though. You wanted the, were you hoping the colors would match the other way? So it would have been blue, the yellow and the blue together? Only had one option, Andy. Cycle Master, they can ask, they can do that in uh, in uh, Discord. Do you want me to go get a cray? You want me to go get a marker? I can, go, I can get some sharpies. We can recolor it. And he's like, no. You won't really see a whole lot of it anyway because the AIO is going to block it anyway. You'll see it from the bottom. Just to make sure Andy's really happy, guys, the B-roll will be only that, uh, the uh, only just that part. It'll just be the EPS connectors. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna make sure it's super visible now. No, I'm just kidding. That'd be terrible. Okay, let's do this. Um, let me see, how do I do the controls for this thing? AM4. This has got a splitter. I can just actually separate, I can actually just run these both to here, but I'm thinking there's a third one. There is, right? LG, LG, so I have how many? I have three. And this has its own two. So we got a pump header, two of these, and then we've got a splitter. It's gonna go off of this CPU. Okay, we'll do that here in a minute. Looking for this. The 
This one is gonna run off the back. There we go. Uh, we probably have a little bit more time. Probably a little bit more time. We're getting pretty close though, yeah. It's going pretty quick, actually. You guys having fun? How are we doing likes on YouTube? We getting it done? I can run those all into a single. It should be okay. I'm gonna try it. Make it the easiest. Do it that way. Go to side. Okay. I think we're gonna have to front mount this if we're gonna keep this ram. Yeah, that's tall ram. I'm not gonna, I need about, I did not want to do that. Hmm. I did not think I test fitted all this, but I did not test fit the ram. Do, 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 do. We should, we, we can front mount this. We can front mount the AIO, it does work. We already did do the thing for this, so we're gonna have to do the, we're gonna have to do a little bit of some jiggering here. And then we can just add a top exhaust fan just to give it a little bit more air. Cause we probably don't want to switch out the RAM to low profile RAM. I wonder if I have, one sec, I might have some Kingston low profile. Yeah, one sec. Do not. Okay, so let's, we're gonna just front mount the AIO, which isn't a big deal. So we'll just have to, we'll add the, we'll add a, we'll add a single exhaust fan just to give it some air for the GPU. And we'll still get air from the bottom fan too. What am I looking for? This. Okay, go to top down. We always love little, uh, we always love little surprises. Not a big deal. Make a candy case for the next build. Whoa, what would that be like? Now we did test fit this for a front mount just in case. 
There was something we forgot. But it's uh, luckily we we know the technique for front mounting. Okay, take that out for now. This actually is going to fix my uh, RGB problem though, by doing it this way, so less of an issue. Okay, so here's what, let me show you guys a little trick if you're gonna do some front mounting here. If you're ever gonna front mount an AIO like what we're gonna do here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove one of every screw, not a screw, just every other corner. Like that. And then that way you don't have to remove the fans. And once you get the first one in, It goes pretty easily. There we go. Don't fight me. It's the easiest way to do a AIO mount. Makes it a whole lot easier if you just do it this way because it just like you can just basically mount it very easily. And just like that, the AIO is front mounted. I don't know why this one screw is giving me an issue though. There it goes. No, it's not perfect. Okay. There we go, AIO is front mounted now. We have just enough room for the GPU. Okay, and the good thing is, is those fans run at full the entire time, so cooling wise, we should be fine. They don't have a speed, so to speak. I've already taken the, already taken the uh, cable, the, uh, We've already taken the thermal paste off. 
Okay. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna clean off the, one more time, just make sure it's a little bit cleaner. And then we'll mount the plate. There we go. Make that look nice and pretty. Pretty, pretty. That's what you want there. Okay, we got plenty of surface area now. Okay, let's get this mounted. We'll add another fan. Let's give it some more air. The good thing is, is that with the way the case is, with the way the case is, you're going to uh, be able to, um, you are gonna get fan air directly to the CPU, I mean the GPU from this rear fan, this bottom fan. There you go. go top down. Thank you for the hydrate. Build's still gonna look super sick. Now you'll be able to see the fan, the colors. So Andy, now we'll be able to see it. The Alpha Wolf, thank you very much for the sub. Farger dropping 10 gifted subs, taking that first place. Two twenty one, guys. Okay, there we go. Wipe off my hands a little bit. I'm gonna put in a single 120 at the top. I don't wanna over, I wanna, I, I, given that this is like, it'll make it even, so I'm just gonna put a single 120 here and leave that one open. See, so yeah, I'm gonna put one more 120 in. Give it, give it more RGB, but at the same time, not, I don't wanna do a negative pressure. It'll be more even that way. Still gonna be a lot of airflow. So yeah, I'm gonna add a single fan. What do you think of that? Is that cool, Andy? Thoughts? I definitely trust your advice. I didn't know, Andy, honestly, I, like, when we looked at it first, too, um, we didn't think it went out that far, but it, def it definitely goes out. Like, you, uh, from the top alignment, you lose almost, I mean, like, you're off screw-wise, so, like, just looking at the top, like, you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but it goes out, like, well past, there you go, I'll try and get a good straight view, but you can see it goes well past the screw things, yeah. So yeah, I couldn't get it in there. I didn't know it was that large either. But it's Fury. It's Fury. Wow, 506 subs from Farger, wow. If front mounted extra heat to the GPU, uh, so it usually does because the air Normally I wouldn't care, I would have more of an issue, but because we have this bottom fan and believe it or not, it's getting enough air that this will basically be able to feed the GPU. So we will get some air to the GPU for sure. The other thing too is by adding a fan to the top, we will be pulling some of the air up. So if the, if the GPU temps will be warmer than they normally would be if I had just top mounted the AIO, but not bad. Blade of Ice, thank you very much for the gifted sub.
Ideally, we try not to front mount as much as possible, but sometimes there's just not an option. And we definitely want to use a super sexy Ram that, uh, that uh, Kingston gave us, you know? That's important. Ugh. Okay, we're just getting these cables controlled now. <clears throat> exactly, we don't want basic RAM for grandma. We want pretty RAM. Okay, let's get this zip tied real quick. Seal it down. We're gonna make this look good. Just that too short. Ugh. That's unfortunate. Okay, we have to run the. We have to run that extra extension there. So we'll, we'll, we'll end up using a splitter here just to get these three under the same conduit. I was trying not to, but we'll add the splitter, have the uh, other RGB fan, and then we'll split and run this both off of the off of the other spot here. So I should have run that now. Okay. Uh. There we go. Okay. So we'll redo that real quick. We're gonna use all the tools, guys. All the tools. That's what we do. Gotta use all the tools. Okay, we'll figure that out here in a minute. Let's get this other fan in. Then we can do kind of the rest of the fun stuff. Okay, so this. Gonna run to this. Okay, one more fan. One more fan. We're gonna celebrate. Oops. One more fan. Come and celebrate with me. Okay, there we go. By the way, we could, well, I guess we could probably get two fans in here, but one is going to be enough for sure. Oh, thanks, Kurosaki. I'm glad that you're here now. Everybody, we're going to restart. Let's get, let's get Grandma Shirley back on here. We're going to restart, guys. Kurosaki's finally here. Do you guys hear it? Kurosaki's here now. Okay.
You gotta restart the build, guys. You just got here. Kurosaki, please forgive us for getting started already. I hope you hope you don't you don't put down your wrath. Blade of Ice. Oh, Andy got a sub. There we go. And he's sub now. Come on, baby. Thank you. One more. Done, 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 done. Okay, there we go. Now we have fans. All the fans are in. All the fans. You guys fans, all the fans. Mad fans, the fans, the best fans. You got a little bit of that view there, which is good. That looks good. Okay, that looks pretty. I like pretty. Okay, let's go to top down. Top down. Top down, let's get this done. Okay, last of the Mohicans and the cables that I need to hook up for this build. I would help if I did it the right way. You are a good fan, Alpha Wolf. Okay, let's get this. Clean this little bit up. Our little bit of AIO work that we have left here. Just gonna get these fans out of the way. You're all good fans. You've been, you've been promoted to lead fans. to look nice. Okay. You're a dynamic pressure fan. That's good. I'm a, I'm a boring fan, I think. What do you guys think? You think I'm a boring fan? Okay, I should probably uh, plug in this thing into here, but it's being awkward. Why do you gotta be awkward? Why do you gotta be awkward, connector? I want as much of this hidden.
Okay. Seem to be okay. Cover most of this though, is what we can. Oh, thanks, Robert. Appreciate it. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go now. There we go now. There we, there we, there we, there we, I don't know if that's a real song, but I've decided it is. It's called There We Go Now, The Song. Platinum album coming out later this year. Just FYI, guys. Please buy my album. It's called There We Go Now. Well, this one's a, this isn't my best work um, working on it, but it's there's a bunch of awkward type cables here. We have to make sure that this closes. And that's the part I'm trying to make sure. Ooh, shoot, don't bend that. That we might use later, but right now I'm trying not to have to use it. Okay, that'll close in. Okay, now it's time for, okay, so we got all our cables in here. This doesn't, it is kind of, I wish there was a, like a, a thing here because then I could strap this in right here, but. There is not, but let's put this up above. Oh, I know, I know, I know you're talking. I know you're talking about yours. I'm gonna zip tie this just to keep this flat. I wasn't offended. To be honest, this, I, like it's hard because this one's got a lot of a lot of weirdness. I try to hide as much cable management as I can, but this one, I can't do that as much, so it's still good enough. It'll still, it still looks, it still looks good, it's still clean. And I'll cover some of this up when I put the other cable, the other cables in. Okay, so now we've got, the build is actually in pretty good shape here. Top mounted, AIO is hooked up, looks clean. The most critical part. We got our two exhaust fans. Okay, now let's get our cables in. I worked, I worked out when I was gone. I didn't know what my muscular PC workouts are. I forgot. Is that some joke I made and now I don't remember what they are? I'm like, uh, I don't remember those. I think I should try. Give a little bit more pop of color here. Twisted up cables there. Hold on. Gonna make sure these are.
Okay, we're just, what we're working on right now is just getting the side view so you guys can see a little bit better. Making the cables look cleaner. Try to see if I can maybe go around the the um, the AIO here. Do it so we can get a little bit more color in the build. that up okay I'm trying to figure out which way I like the look better Also trying to make this a little bit cleaner here. Get a little bit of training here. Okay, let's try lower just to see if that looks better. I'm, gonna try, I'm trying to see if I can do something neat with the cables over the AIO cables. Showcase them a little bit more. I don't know if it's going to look good or not, but we're going to try it. And then if not, I can look at it afterwards and make a call. Ugh. Hate. Hate these things sometimes. Come on. There you go. There we go. What do you guys think? I'm trying to do something where I come outside and it just gives it a little bit more color. You know what I mean? Or do you think I should just do the little small? I think I just, I think you get to see more of the cables this way. And if you're gonna do custom cables, you wanna be able to see them. And then it hides a little bit more of the black. So I like the way that looks. Yeah. So then you get to cover this over and the tubes kind of get, tubes will get kind of shoved up a little bit. So it'll, it'll, I think that looks better. Oh, come on, come back to me. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I like that. It looks, I think that looks better. Looks different, which I like. Okay, let's leave it. Okay. Let's get our GPU in. We're almost done. There we go. It also kind of it also kind of hides this black cable, so it makes this it makes the black cable look a little bit better too. Okay, let's get GPU in now. There we 
go. Okay, cool. Now, there we go. What is going on guys? Just taking a second. We haven't like, I just want to pop in. I want to say thank you so much for tuning in today. Huge shout out to Asus Intel, uh, Kingston and Cable Mod for sponsoring today's build. We are building a PC for Skyrim Grandma, AKA Shirley Curie. Uh, uh, she is amazing. She was on the show a little bit earlier. She will be joining us in about half an hour to go ahead and turn on the PC and all that sort of stuff. So that is what is happening. Just to kind of a recap on the giveaways that are currently available for the show. Uh, we're giving away two $25 new A gift cards when we hit 350 likes over at youtube.com slash Robitech live. So head on over there, likes are free. Uh, we're giving away an RTX 3080 for the month of August and September. If you want to get in on that, all you got to do is jump on over to twitch.tv slash Robitech, hit that, uh, basically use your free Prime subscription, uh, and that gets you a free entry to win that GPU. Now, if you do things like subscribe at tier one, you get three entries. If you subscribe at tier two, you get five entries. And if you subscribe at tier three, you get 10 entries. Now, if you want to get extra entries, every gifted sub like Blade of Ice is done or Farger or uh, many of the others, every one of those gets you an extra entry towards the GPU. Now, the last thing is, is that as you subscribe, you also now get access to that PC giveaway. Once we get to 1500 subs, we'll give away a PC. We have 22 days to basically do that. It's kind of like a subathon. Uh, we've given two PCs away that way, and we'll be doing a third here in about 22 days. So every sub that you give uh, gets goes towards that giveaway as well. Lastly, if we hit a level five hype train here in the next like 15, 20 minutes, we'll also give away another $25 new egg gift card. So those are all the giveaways. Guys, I hope you're enjoying the show. It's been a while since I've streamed. It's also early. Usually we stream at about three hours from now, but you know, we're trying to be uh, respectful of East Coast time uh, for grandma, for uh, Skyrim grandma. So we're just trying to make sure that we get her build done and that she's able to continue with her evening. Once we're done and we showcase the build, we'll be jumping into some Hearthstone towards the end of the stream uh, and we'll stream that till whenever I'm basically done streaming. Uh, and then lastly, we have our, you know, our usual things that we'll do uh, near the end of the stream as well. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I have missed you very much. I want to just take a break and say, hey, what's up? I haven't talked to you and I know I've been building it. Oh, thank you, radio. That's awesome. And somebody asked, yes, this was something that uh, Asus uh, worked with her and she said she needed a new PC. Her last PC was a 2015. So it's been a while. So this will be a nice big upgrade for her. So, and then they, uh, then Asus talked to me about, hey, would you be down to build a PC for, um, uh, and uh, for uh, Grandma, Grandma uh, Skyrim? And I was like, uh, yeah, for sure. She is a legend and it's awesome to get a chance to get to do that. So, and she also does writing and all that other stuff as well. We learned a lot about her. Um, and I don't know if she's live on her channel or not. Uh, Martinez, how many likes do we have on YouTube right now? Oh, you are very welcome, Crooked. Oh, she just ended her live. Okay. 206 likes, guys. We have 150 more likes. Uh, if you guys want to head on, if you guys want to head over, hit that thumbs up. That would be a huge thing to help support us. Oh, you were number 200, thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. I'm so glad we were able to do this for her. She's awesome. And it's been cool to get to know her. I like how matter of fact she is. Remember, likes to freeze, guys. Yeah, this great tough GPU. And the only two I like about this GPU is it only requires, it only requires a single peel versus the Strix, which requires like 9 million peels. Nine million peels. You're here like the whole stream is just peels. Non-stop peeling. Yeah, it's youtube.com slash Robitech Live. We'll get a link there for you. It's right there, Streamlabs. And it's live right now. We're streaming to YouTube as well. Nine million peels. 
Yeah, this is like one mega peel. There it is. We're gonna mega peel this bad boy. There we go. Mega peel, oh, mega peel, fail. Well, almost fail. World, world premiere. I need to go catch up on the Gamescom stuff. I don't know if there was anything good. There we go. Almost done with the mega peel. Oh, mega peel. Okay, that one's done. I just have one peel on the back. And then we got, oh, peel there. And we got some fan peels. Yeah, Vedic, I'm gonna be there. I have a pan, uh, Friday's the big Roby day. So you'll have lots of chances to catch me uh, on Friday. I'm uh, Friday, I've got, uh, I'll be at the PAX booth at 10.30 a.m. doing a live stream for Mod Workshop. Uh, and then uh, I have a panel at 3.30 p.m. Pacific time um, with Andy and Liquid House and T PC Works, um, do, talking about small form factor land builds. And then uh, on, and then that evening, uh, we are gonna be doing a, um, I'm gonna be playing Hearthstone on the main stage at Intel uh, from five to six. So that's all happening on Friday. And right now I'm peeling. Peels. There we go. Ugh. So many peels. Not as many as a Strix card though, which is good. Thank you very much, Ricardo, for uh, hitting the, the thumb up. go. One more left. Alright, cool. Now all the peels are done. We've done all the peels. Finally. Okay, let's put this bad boy in. This is going to be the hard part because it's like Oh, the order of operations here. Am I gonna have to put the GPU in first? I might have to have done the GPU first. I know it fits, because we tested it. Okay, so we're gonna have to do this the hard way, unfortunately. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this the hard way, okay. Slowing me down a bit, but we just got to do it. I just need to remove this. Okay. Definitely an order of operations here with the front mounting. Okay. So.
Luckily this part is not, this part's pretty fast. Okay. Quick fix, whoa, no, 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 don't, don't, don't do, don't do that. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we can just remove the radiator and, oops, calm down there. Okay, cool. Okay, so here's what we do. It's pretty simple. I'm just gonna take that out temporarily. Put this in. Put that back in. Easy peasy. This is where just a little bit of patience. It's got to be a little bit patient sometimes. PCs can be that way especially if you're just like just at the limit of the case, but be a little bit patient and then you don't panic. This one is always this little this little screw is giving me so many problems. Okay, there we go. Now we can rerun this and then be good to go. But luckily we are got the got pretty much most of the stuff in now. Okay, little hype there, little little problem solving hype. We always like little problem solving hypes. Okay, here's our last screw. Okay, AIO is remounted. Now we can just run this through real quick. And then we're back to where we began. Well, actually we're further than we began because we'll have the AIO mounted too and the GPU in. 
It's a nice little detour, a little, little practice for the situation, but it's done now. Okay, cool. Let me start the music again. Whew. Let's get a hype train going for that. Problem solving hype. That's all I gotta say. Robitech coming in clutch, solving things and not panicking. I could have just cried for an hour. That's what you guys wanted me to do, right? You wanted me to just cry for an hour? See ya. Okay, come on. Now I just gotta get this little plastic little rubber rubber grommet back on. You're being problematic here. And unfortunately I can't hit it from the other side, which is always fun. <sighs> Go to side view, you see what I'm trying to work on. This like, this one thing is being a little bit problematic here. I'm just gonna get it on. Been tricky. Let's get in your hole. There we go. Yeah, let's get in this hole. Come on, PC. Why you gotta be so problematic? Just this. Oh, no, no, don't go in there. Just go into your, there you go. There we go. Now you know what I need to do. Trying to get this one rubber grommet to behave the way it needs to. Almost got it there. Got it. Okay, cool. Now I got the rubber grommet back in. Okay. Guys, now it is happening. Okay, we can put this away for the 15th time, put away the screws, make the dream happen. It's all happening, it's all coming together. Whew. Okay, cool. Last cables, and then we can put in our PSU.
Okay, so here's what it looks like. Had a little bit of trickiness, but the trickiness has been solved. We got room. Build is in. Okay, last cable. Looks tough, that's right, it is tough. Okay, last cable. And then we can put in the PSU and we can turn it on. Okay, so there we go. There's the whole build. We'll get that fixed here in a minute, but there it is. So there is the build. That's what it'll look like when we're all done. Let's get our PSU in and that'll make it easier for me to control the rest of these crazy cables that are being a little ridiculous right now. Okay. Okay, it's the end, ladies and gentlemen. Let's grab our PSU cable. And turn it on. Okay. If we need to get a GPU sag bracket, we will. I, I might need to tighten the end screws. That usually fixes the sag too. Okay, let's get this in there. Only need one cable from this, which is the... Only need one cable from this, which is the um, one PCI cable. Okay, so we got here. So I need one cable, which is our PCI cable. Hey, CalRAL, thank you for the gifted sub. Five gifted subs. Hey, CalRAL's got it started, guys. If we want to go ahead and pile on a CalRAL, we could probably hit a hype train. Unlock that other gift card. How are we doing on the YouTube likes? Thank you, CalRAL. See if we can get some sub hype going, guys. Finish out that hype train. Remember unlocking, see if we can get to like two, I'd love to see if we can get to 300 subs for the PC giveaway. See what we can do. 
I've been on vacation. <clears throat> Thank you, Farger. Farger's getting it going. See what else? We got two or two or three more people. 226, we're about 100 away from uh, likes, all the likes we need on YouTube too. Okay. Okay, here we go. CPU. Fargo's got it going. Can we get a couple more people to hit that thumbs up or, or sorry, hit that uh, like some bits or stuff like that. Let's see if we can get it, get a hype train going. go. Oh, where was my, I didn't see my thing. Where's my screws? We can do it guys. Farger's got it going. Trying to get it going, trying to get a... Should have one in here. There, where's the other one? Calrog got it going. Can we get it? No zip tie pull today, no. Blondie's on another, uh, Blondie's uh, got another commitment today. I want everyone to know they're cool, thank you. Yeah, 1200K and a, and a 240 is fine. Yeah, there's good temps on that. Okay, cool. AIO, this is all in. Okay, now. Okay, right now it's just about getting this to stay at the right length.
Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's get this in. Okay, last one. There we go. The only thing we have left is this little cable. Okay, that is the last cable that I need to hook up. Okay, that looks good. Okay, let me check the front. That looks, ooh, that looks twisted, but we'll fix that. That looks good. Okay, let's make sure the front looks good. That was my concern. Okay, I have one zip tie I need to add just to make sure the front looks good. There we go, come on. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's see how that looks. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let me push this all the way down. <clears throat> yeah, nice little pop of color, nice little thing. It all in all looks really nice. There we go. Get a little bit more angle there. There we go. Okay, that is it. Seal the bad boy up. And we can get on the phone once we kind of clean up our tools and stuff.
There we go. Let's have to slide it down. Easy back on. There we go. Top. Let's throw our thing back on. Okay. How are we doing on YouTube likes, guys? No, this is not the giveaway PC we are, we're gonna be building later. Uh, so uh, we're, uh, we're waiting for all the parts to come in. So we don't have the, the thing yet, but it's usually like, it's usually, uh, I think it's gonna be an Intel one this time. And then there is a second uh, PC giveaway coming up too. So there's two PC giveaways, but one is, one is Twitch only, the other one is coming up. But they're usually uh, value-wise uh, in the 1,000 to 1,500 all range. There we go. Okay. Let's get, we're getting, getting the space cleaned up here. There is the build. Oh, there, hold on one sec. Okay, now let's throw this on. And there we go, the build is complete. One sec, guys. One sec. Okay. Well, I thought maybe I had one, but I don't. So we'll have to see about getting her. We have a, we'll get a sag bracket for her just to keep that, keep it. It's not, it's not a terrible thing, but it's like, it definitely has a little bit of sag. But other than that, no, the build is done. We can uh, jump in and get her. Let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna see if there's something as to why. Oh, you know what? I know what it is, probably. I know why, hold on. No, it's definitely. Okay, let's hopefully this works. 
Oops. Oh, okay, there we go. Let's see if we can get her on. Okay. Let's go to Discord. Okay, let's see. We're waiting for her now. We're gonna give her a tour. I wish there was a way to like switch this around. Is there a way to like make the camera switch? Guess not. Okay. Hi, can you hear me? I can hear you. Let's see. Go to dual stream, wait for your screen to show up here. Find, there's where she'll be. Waiting for her to show up, guys. Oh, no, no, she moved. I can see you. I'm gonna move you to where, oh, 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 that's not what I wanted. I wanted your thing here. There we are. Now everybody can see you. Can you I guys can hear? I see your shoulder. Oh yeah, sorry. I was uh, I was moving you. <laughs> okay. Well, we actually have the entire build here. So these are the colors. I'm I'm showing her so she can see it. But these are the colors here. So these are the colors of it. She, uh, a Andy or uh, basically found these, like she took inspiration off of your YouTube channel to make the colors here for this. Now we haven't turned the PC on yet, but this is how it looks when it's not on. So as you can see, we yeah. got a lot of, lot of cool lighted fans. You've got some lighted fans here in the front as well, but what do you think of how it looks as it is right now? It looks mighty compact. <laughs> yes. It's nice, we, we thought you'd like that in terms of not having to, uh, it won't take up a ton of space on your desk. That's right, it's smaller than what I have. And more powerful, I, have, I will tell you that. <laughs> I have two voices from you coming on. Oh, oh, I wonder, if, I wonder if I'm not muted on another one. Hold on one sec. You got two voices. Uh, hmm, I don't know why. Oh, are you, are you, you're not listening to the stream too, right? Oh, should I, oh, I should turn off my uh, YouTube channel, right? Yeah, because that's, you might be hearing it from there too. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. That's well, now, good. what we're, now what we're going to do is we're going to plug it in. This is always the fun part, and hopefully it turns on. You do need the PC to work, right? Yes, I hope it turns on too. <laughs> okay, so we plugged it in. We're gonna grab a video cable. And then what we're gonna I plug that. What I was amazed seeing was how many cords there are. Oh yeah, there's a lot to plug in. Wow. Okay, let's throw a network network cable in there too. Okay. Okay, so there's all your cables are plugged in. We're gonna hit that button right there. Okay, here we go. This is the moment of truth. Does it turn on? It does! Yay, I see lights. <laughs> there they are. You can see some of the fans there in the front. Oh, and they're red. That's my favorite color. Oh, well, that, uh, that was an accident because you can actually change the colors if you want. So you can make them green, blue, purple. Oh. So yeah, it's all controlled off of a single button, which is nice. It's That's just now cool. it's restarting. So it's, it's, it's uh, training the RAM is what it's doing now. So there's, uh, there's some white right there. And, but we'll put them back to red because that's your favorite color. Mm-hmm. As you Ooh, can there's, see. There's RGB. Well, there's like red and, oh, it's still training the RAM again. I think that just sounds cool. It's training the RAM. Yeah, so basically it's it's basically making sure that the RAM it, it works with everything else right now. Okay, so there you go, your RAM's on. Ooh, third Luke's time's just the training the RAM. Yeah. Ooh, there's fade in red. Look at that. Uh-huh. So there it is. It's all on now. And now we wait for the big moment. 
which is if it, okay, so it's obviously done training the RAM at this point in time, which is good. And then we can make it, we'll make it, we'll find the solid red when it finishes its boot up sequence. You got lots of color options, wow. Yeah, that is a lot. Okay, now we're in the salt. Oh, no, I guess we're not in this. Oh, you know what? There's a, probably another button for like what mode it goes to. Uh -huh. Wow, there's a, like, I'm still going through buttons. Okay, finally, we're back at the regular red. <laughs> that took like an hour of your time right there. And there it is. Your system is on. And see that green light right there? That means it is posted. So you are posted. So it basically does work. Now we just got to put an OS on it, but your build is done. Oops, Thank I'm sorry. You. I'm not giving you a good view of it. There you go. Yeah. And there it is. You got some lights there as well. Yeah, so you got red, red everywhere. There. So should we make it all red? I thought it was all red. Well, I mean, I can make these red and I can make that red. So I can make it all red, except for the right and the, well, except for, I obviously can't change the color of the, but you can see there's actually additional RGB inside of it. See some of the multicolored stuff. You can, you can make anything red that you want to. Okay, you're like as much red as possible. You want all the red. I love red. There you go. Well, I like red too. It was, I, 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 was, I was talking, when I was talking to her earlier, I said, you know, one of the things I really like about it is that um, she wears red and black and obviously Robitech colors are red, black, and white. So I was like, oh, well then, you know, it's a match made in heaven right there. Right there. So yes, there it is. is. It is posted, guys. Well, uh, thank you so much for being a part of this whole thing. We are going to finish putting your build together. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to test it in Skyrim. Now, one of the questions my techs had for you, uh, Shirley, was um, how do you play Skyrim? Do you play on Steam or do you play, like, how do you normally log into Skyrim? I play on YouTube. Oh, no, I mean, like, when you launch the game, do you launch it off of Steam or do you launch it off of, do you know? Steam. Okay, Steam. Okay, so we'll make sure we install Steam and we'll make sure that when you get it, it's already installed and ready to go so you can get right into Skyrim oh, thank right away. You. Thank so, you. So, any questions that you have? Is there anything we could have done better? We're going to be sending you a, a, a survey. If you could give us five stars. I'm just kidding. We're not going to send you a survey. <laughs> <laughs> Sith confirmed. No, she is not Sith. She just likes red, guys. So, but any other questions you have that we can answer? Yes, I wanted to ask you about that end where it showed the three uh, fans, red okay. fans. Okay. With the straps across there. Yes, right yeah. here. What are those straps? What you know are what? They Why They're... are they there? So in some cases, when people take their uh, PCs to travel, um, they have these straps so they can hold them so they're easy, if the PC is easier to travel with. I would not recommend it for this. In this case, it's just for show because um, this face does come off. So I think it's just aesthetics. It's just to make it look cool. Um, but uh, in some cases, they come with straps. So when you take them to like you travel with your PC, it makes it a little easier to grip. But they really, in this case, they're just to make it, it's just part of the look. I see. So you could I, I take them off if you wanted to. I was going to say, can you take them off? Yep, uh, right over I here. I never travel. Yeah, so you can take them off. You can just take this right okay. here. So then you Great. just basically can take it all the way off. Thank so. you. And I can, do you want me to just take it off? Would you rather have it off? I'd rather have it off because I would take it off once it got here. Okay, well then we'll just remove them now. Why not? It's your PC. I would, I would never use it. I don't travel with the PC and it hides my pretty red lights. <laughs> that, that sounds like an answer to me. So we'll get that, we'll get that removed right now. <laughs> I like Thank it. I like you. that you know. I like that you know what you want. You're like, I don't want them. I want to be able to see the red lights. And there you go. Just like that. The. Thank the you. How's that? Is that better? Much better. There you go. It looks cleaner. There you go. So there is your from a wide angle. There is your PC. Thank you so much. You are very welcome. We had a couple little little hiccups as we were getting it set up, so I'm sorry it took a little longer than we anticipated, but thank you for being patient. Did a lot of people ask questions? Did they come hang out with you on your YouTube? Uh, they wasn't asking me as many questions about 
the build this thing was <laughs> about my channel. <laughs> well, that's good. I mean, I like that. I like that anyway. So you getting a chance to uh, get to meet new people and all that sort of stuff. And again, if people want to, uh, if people want to come and check you out, where do they go? If they want to come and watch more of you playing Skyrim or doing some reading or whatever it was, where do they go? If they if they just type Shirley Curry into their into their search channel search. They'll find me. They find there all, it is. They find all kinds of things about me. Well, there you go. All good stuff. All the good stuff. Yeah. So there it is. Yeah. If you guys want to find her and you want to check her out, watch her play Skyrim, do some reading, all that sort of stuff, you can go check her out. Uh, she's on YouTube, uh, and she is an internet sensation, a million subs, and uh, we got the pleasure of getting to hang out with her, build a PC for her, um, and uh, now we got to make sure it works so she can actually use it, So, and then we get it out to her. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, it, it'll work. We, we promise. But thank you so much for being here. Thank you for joining us, um, and I super appreciate you uh, you taking the time. Uh, hopefully, you get your, your, uh, hopefully your, your son's going to take you out for a really nice dinner. He told me he was going to take you to his favorite place, and he's paying. That's what he told me. The internet said so. You got to take her there. <laughs> if I say so, it has to happen. <laughs> Tell him. Oh, yeah? <laughs> so, well, thank you very much. Have a good rest of your evening. Thank and, you so much. And then we will, de if we, uh, you will hear from me again, and we'll get it shipped out to you. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm anxious for that. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm anxious to get it to you. I'm excited to see it. Make sure you send me a picture. I will. Okay. Okay, we will right. see you later. Bye. Bye. Okay, guys. So that was uh, that was Grandma uh, that was Grandma Shirley. Uh, and you can check her out, Shirley Curry. Uh, just do a search on Google, Bing, if you're smart. Uh, or uh, you can just search for her over on YouTube uh, for a chance to go ahead and watch her play. Next step for us is to basically get it set up. But where are we at? Thank you very much, by the way, Lunar Contact for the $1.99 Super Chat. Guys, where are we at on likes on YouTube? We got to finish out. We got giveaways, and then we're going to get into some gaming. We got giveaways still. So uh, where are we at on likes on YouTube? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Thank you very much. If you guys want to get a closer look at it, we'll get it going in there here in a second. Oh, that's not going to do it. So, but yeah, no, it is posted. We're just having, I don't know if it's uh, working here with the thing from there. 258 likes. Come on, guys, let's get to 300. If we get to 300, we'll do the, uh, we'll do at least one giveaway. Can we get the hype train going? That's the other thing too, is can we get the hype train going? Two hundred and sixty likes. Let's keep it going. Oh, you know what? I bet you. I keep. I added it. We added a new switcher here. It's definitely getting a signal. It's showing it's getting a signal. No, it's not getting a signal. I do this. I show it. Make sure you guys like the video. We need 50 more likes, guys. Head on over to youtubecom robytex We can do the. We can do the. Uh, we can do the giveaway. And then we'll start the uh, gaming. Can you show you how to use monitors? What do you mean? Why is this just turning on? That's weird. Uh, the prize today, guys, is that we're gonna we're doing uh, we're doing uh, uh, we have uh, new egg gift cards, and then we also have uh, we also have new egg we have new egg gift cards, and then we also have um, uh, yeah the the well that's it that's it's just new egg gift cards today. There you go, Kurosaki. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah, we can show you on the side. Here's what, we're, basically what we have right now because of, well, the, it's gonna be a little bit different for other people though. Hold on one sec.
is we have, right now I have it plugged in the display port and then we have an HDMI port that, that's coming out of the GPU. And then we also have the, uh, this is our network cable. And then down here we have the power cable right now. So that's where it's at right now. And we're not winning this, this PC, Bobby Cat, you know that. This PC is for her. It looks really good. <clears throat> How are we doing on likes, guys? Thank you for all the likes. Oh. There you go, there's a nice view of the full PC as it's built. There we go. And then here's a nice like three quarter view with some of the, so you can see the red there. Make it red later, but for the sake of the lighting, just to make it look even right now, we'll just make it white. Come on guys, 30 more likes, head on over to youtube.com slash Robitech Live and get those last likes. Oh, you won, you won once already, Kurosaki? Oh man, that must have been a mistake. Uh, I don't know, so 5G can't do two, two gigabits. Yeah, I know, Alternaut. They, uh, they kind of deserve it. Head on over to youtube.com slash Robitech Live. Uh, 1440p, I think it's just more a choice. 1080p is still great gaming. It's just 1440p, obviously, you're getting twice the resolution. It looks, I mean, it looks a bit crisper, obviously, at that resolution, etc. right? So it's always a, I don't necessarily think it's a bad, like a, a choice of good versus bad. It's just what you prefer. Uh, I don't think you could, yeah, I, imagine 8K on a 3060 Ti would be absolutely abysmal. That's what it would be if I was imagining that. Do you disable eco modes on your PSUs? I don't usually enable them, no. I mean, it's it's up to you. I mean, I don't, I just, I actually leave it on default. Yeah, it would be very low frames per second on 8K. For most gaming PSUs, for most gaming PCs, you do not want to enable, enable eco. So I would just leave it alone. Uh, I would undervolt over overvolt. I don't know if why you, I don't know why you mean overclocked. I don't know if I need to overclock her system. It's there, it's just turned so you can't see it. But there it is right there. I'm just trying to make sure you get, the side of the system is a little bit more, I mean, just trying to aesthetically, it looks a little bit more straightforward. It should be fine. We're 10 likes away, guys. Let's hit those last 10 likes. And then we'll we'll do a, we'll do one game because we didn't hit any hype trains today either. So we'll just do the one new egg gift card giveaway. Let's get those 10 likes, get that giveaway, and then we're gonna get to some gaming. I would not overclock. There's no need to overclock your CPU. There's a lot of there's a lot of things as CPUs over time that are overclocked. Leaving it in stock is just by far the easiest maintenance thing. Thanks, I'm glad you liked it, Alter. Test this build? 
with 4K Tarkov, it would I would not play any, this is not a 4K build. I would not play 4K with this build. This is not a, this is a 1440p or 1080p build. You should not be playing 4K with this build. This build isn't made for that. Let's see, wait, can we get to 250 subs though? I mean, I'd love to see, can we just get to 250? It's the first stream back. Let's see, can we get a couple more subs and then we'll go from there. Thanks Liquid House, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, it looks great. I think uh, Andy did a great job. I really do like the cable she chose too. Uh, 3090 Ti, I wouldn't use anything less. 4K is not, 4K is a farce, is a gaming thing right now. Where? Well, I mean, I guess if you're running low visual settings, but if you're gonna do great visual settings, a 3090 Ti is kind of the end. Yes, we're definitely gonna install the game beforehand. There we go, 300 likes. Okay guys, so let's do this giveaway. Hey, thank you Steam Labs for doing the, thank you Bep for doing the subscription, appreciate it. You are rock stars. Yes, we are not, yes, this is, yeah, 8K, 8K is, 8K content is far from like mainstream at this point in time. There we go, okay, so let's do our first giveaway. Uh, well, actually, sorry, before we do the giveaway, I forgot about this. Let's, uh, let's go through our, let's go through our sponsor for today's, uh, we had, uh, uh, Asus, but now that that's done, we gotta go through our just our normal sponsor. So I'm gonna shut this off. Put this away. It's nice and light. Ooh, it is nice and compact. She is right. Okay, so let's take a let's talk about uh, CDK deals. Be really careful with this cable here. There we go. I'm not even getting that one. This signal in either. Okay, let's get this up. Where's my phone? Okay, there we go. Okay, let me hit stop on this. I feel like this is not, is this on? It's on. I'm not getting anything out of my screens here. Hold on one sec, guys. Sorry, I'm trying to get my screens to show up. That's not plugged into anything. Can we go to the other screen? Okay, and just get the screen swisher for now. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. It was just being a pain. Okay, so let's get this done and then that's probably why. Okay. 
Okay, so. Let's say for instance, you get done building a PC like this and you're like, oh, you know, Roby, I get finished building a PC like this and you're like, hey, I need to, uh, I need to pick up a copy of Windows or something like that. So what does a copy of Windows cost? Well, that's a great question. And so uh, let's go ahead and we'll go to one of my favorite sites, obviously one of our big sponsors here for Roby Tech, and that is VIP slash CDKLs cdkdeals.com. So here we are on the site over at vip.cdkdeals.com. If you go in, let's take a look. How much does a copy of Windows 10 cost? So let's take a copy here. Let's look at Windows 10. Oops, why is that like that? That was weird. There we are, we're over at cdkdeals.com. Windows 10 is regularly $100.26, but over at vip.cdkdeals.com, you can pick it up for $22.72. But if you pop in and you get the same thing and you just go ahead and hit buy now, and then it'll pop into the, uh, basically it'll pop into the cart here pretty quick. And then you hit use code RBCK at checkout, hit apply. What was $22.72 uh, is now uh, just a little over $15, which is actually pretty cool. So you're actually saving 30% on top of the, uh, on top of the, wow, it's really slow today. What's going on here? Yeah, here we go. Hit apply. There he goes, and now it's $15.90. So you can pick up a copy right there for $15.90. What about Office 365 or Office 20? So here we'll look at Microsoft Office. Here's Office, regularly $199.61, or here, $199.51 for Office 2019. So you can use the same thing, head on over, hit buy now. Use the same code at checkout using RBCK. And instead of $66.48, you can pick it up for $46.54. So really, really good deal. If you're basically finishing a PC, you get done, you wanna pick up a copy of Windows or Office for your new PC, you can head on over vip-cdkdeals.com and pick up a discounted copy of Windows or Office. So yeah, super cheap. Uh, and we've had literally thousands of people here on the show who've actually picked it up if you wanna do that. Oh yeah, L, L Mallory, this thing, I love this shirt, yeah. And uh, it's actually, I think you can actually get it at retail over at StockX if you wanna pick it up. Yeah, so anyway, check it out, vip-cdkdeals.com if you're interested in uh, uh, getting an in, uh, inexpensive copy of Windows. Okay, so let's head over to, let's do the first giveaway. We're gonna be giving away one copy, uh, one $25 new a gift card. Exclamation point new egg now, exclamation point new egg now, $25 new egg gift card up for grabs, hitting starting that right now. Two minutes, guys. Two minutes, guys. Think of how far we've come from our days on the shore. One foot in the pool. To when we drifted a long time. With the waves as they roll. She'd do anything just to keep my head afloat.
Okay, guys, that is it. Drawing is closed. Okay, picking our winner. Congratulations to Choco, Choco L, Chocolate Giddy Up. Chocolate Giddy Up. You are the winner of the $25 New Egg gift card. Congratulations. Okay, just getting everything set up to start going to gaming. Congratulations. There we go. There we go. Congratulations. Okay. Welcome to the next part of this whole thing. Oh, this is the fun part. We've done our build now. Now we get to just kind of enjoy it. So, which is always a little bit of fun afterwards. Um, okay, come on. Of course, now you're not gonna work when I need you to not work. When did you work? You've been working this whole other time. There we go. Okay, music has stopped. Okay, I'm gonna give this a little bit more backed out. Uh, pretty close. So, hope you guys have enjoyed the build and all that sort of stuff. There we go. Whoa. Okay. Uh, what's going on, guys? Oh, welcome to gaming. We played some, we built a PC. Now it's just time for some gaming time. Gonna get that all set up here. Make sure everything's updated. Okay, let's go here. We're gonna update our strap. Uh, if you are over at YouTube, I super appreciate you being here for the time that you have been, but I'm gonna say I do. Uh, thank you again for tuning in. If you wanna come in and watch me do some gaming, we're gonna play some Hearthstone now. Uh, head on over to YouTube, uh, twitch.tv slash Robitech. That's where I'm gonna start playing some, uh, playing some Hearthstone. So that's gonna be happening now. Uh, so if you're interested in watching that, Come on over. Same thing with Facebook. Appreciate you guys being here. Uh, we will see you guys on uh, the next episode. And apparently I'm, oh, okay. I'm, oh, oh, I was apparently I was streaming to Amazon too. So we'll see you guys in a bit. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye, YouTube and uh, Twitch sticking around.